Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM's Operation Warring Engine, destroying alien relay. I, I, I'm, I'm estimating, best guess, that the Chosen probably shows here. And uh, we're bringing Yggdrasil and a bunch of explosives to <laughs> basically carry us, but also I, the, the Chosen has Brittle, which is getting more damage from repeat attacks. So I can reliably just like launch damage at him, launch damage at him. We might be able to kill him very quickly. So that's kind of the thought process here. Also, we are going into the subways, which I think for the Hunter Chosen is a bit of a disadvantage. Uh, we're also countering this hidden dark event. We're not spending any intel to figure out what it is. The other one we were kind of okay with. So anyways, lots of interesting things happening here. We also have a new grenade in the magnetic grenade. Uh, you can buy these individually now. Four to five damage, three shred, which was huge, lower range, but higher radius. Uh, but we are launching these from a grenade launcher. So I feel like that should be pretty nice. We're taking out Iggy, Beardo, Musen, Takeout, Pool Mother, and Red Dawn. Uh, Pool Mother now with the bandage throw. So we have a little bit of healing here, hopefully. And uh, we've got a smoke grenade for hopefully some Hopefully we don't need it, because that's always kind of like a last-ditch effort for me. Let's uh, rock and roll, shall we? Today's trivia question. Uh, by the way, thank you guys for participating in the trivia. I love it. Uh, all you need to do is either reply to the comment that's in the is, that's in the comments, or just drop it on its own. Doesn't matter. But I love that you guys get involved with that. Prior to this season, which is War of the Chosen Season 7, how many XCOM soldiers have been killed while still rookies, excluding the batch incident. A0, B2, C3, or D5? Answers tomorrow at the end. Today's log comes from Spartan Keika, who writes for Antonin Reactor 4 Akimov, who's been absolutely pummeling on the battle. If I had not beheld it with my own eyes, I would dismiss it all. Yet I did behold, and so I am only skeptical. They call themselves Templars. They create constrained energy fields from gauntlets worn upon their forearm. Like light made solid that rends flesh with ease, as I have recently seen. The Templars themselves are possessed, in my experience, of an almost fanatical devotion to their gifts and the power they claim for themselves. I am worried because, as it is said, whom the gods would first destroy, they first make mad. Woohoo! Very nice, Keika, very nice. Ooh, interesting starting point. Move in and destroy the target. Very interesting starting point. Oh god, that seems incredibly far. <laughs> I'm always so it's it's almost I don't want to use the term disheartening, but it's almost disheartening. Oh, there's a sectoid right there. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Okay. You love to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Seven turns to get there. Seven turns to get there. Yeah, I don't know about that. Now, at least our timer doesn't start until we're revealed. That's something that we got going for us. So we'll try and see if I can push up as far as possible. I must run. I'm trying to keep cover from that On it. side there, and I don't really want to get anyone trapped in this position if I can avoid it. Out. And then Pool Mother we can put down Will here. You. So yeah, this could be a bit of a challenge, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, walk that way. Very nice. Very nice. I would be surprised if there wasn't a th another unit with them. That said. Moving there. Let's open this up. You know, all of a sudden, we're we're kinda close. I go. The the issue that we're gonna have obviously, is that, um, 
Will do. Is that now we got to keep track of a bunch of things. I'm actually going to orient our camera this way. So we can focus that we have a group over here so far. Probably a group near the objective. That would be unsurprising. Uh, our combat engineers are also going to be no need to ask our twice. front line. We have actually kind of interesting. Everybody has armor here except for Pool Mother. Everybody except for Pool Mother. Go, go, I actually go. think this is fine. Okay, that what that is gonna break. I was I wasn't sure how that was gonna go down. I'm gonna take this. And then Pool Mother, I'm going to play a bit more conservatively on this side. We do actually, with the addition of this class now, we have a ranged heal, albeit a 1 HP heal per turn. Um, I would say that's not too shabby. I move. Okay, this is... This is encouraging. We're moving along this this side here. Time to motor. Okay, we're spotting something. Oh boy, okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, that is a lot of enemies. And there's that scion again. However, however, this is this is okay. I'm not gonna panic just yet. I'm not gonna panic. Okay, so those guys are up front. Iggy, I actually don't mind that position. I don't mind position this control. position. And we can go no here with Musen. Watch order confirmed. The potentially interesting thing about having them all grouped up like this is we might be able to get off the grenade of a lifetime. If we got lucky. And I mean, truthfully, we could fight from here. Um, this group seems to be patrolling. This group didn't move at all. We've got Stun Lancers, Troopers, Sectoid, and then we saw a Scion. So I think we got three pods there, plus this roaming pod, which could just, just come down here and really just ruin our day, ultimately. Uh, but with rockets... <laughs> Rockets could be phenomenal here. Could be phenomenal. Do I just let her rip? And I'm I I don't know. I think maybe we do. I think maybe we let her rip. If I try and if I try and focus this on this group so that even if it does spread, we reliably hit a bunch of them. That could be pretty good. This might be a cleaner way of doing that. Something like this. The only problem is that takeout's in, in half cover, but um, we've got the shield. We have a little bit of armor. If the Chosen comes, the timer gets frozen. So that's good. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna let this rip here. Just find a hopefully decent spot. Keeps wanting to latch onto stuff. Let's go. Target locked. Ah, that was a pretty bad whiff. Take out. Pretty bad whiff. However, we may have only triggered the three. Uh, if we blew out the walls, we may have triggered more. So that's definitely something to consider at least um we do have this now he's showing as as being impacted he is showing as being impacted also uh that stun lancer i'm thinking we throw down a defensive mine and that could provide some value there, unless he decides to come this way, which would be really annoying. 
Uh, let's see. I mean, we have explosives. <laughs> that we do have. Okay, yeah, so the range, yeah, the range is limited, but look at that, look at that AoE. That's pretty nice. Um, I think we'll save that to see if we get any armored units. 46 there. I just need to decide how we want to play this. I think putting this here for the potential of that stun lancer coming down could be good. And then I only need a shotgun blast there, but I think... Yeah, Musion, Musion could do that. That could work. Hmm. I'm what I'm trying to figure out right now is what's like our most efficient way of doing this. The Stun Lancer does need at least one damage, maybe two. I think these mines... Oh, they do four to five. So if he runs through that, that would be great. Um, but that does mean that I should perhaps look to move these guys in. Pool Mother doesn't quite have the range to get her here with a shot. But Beardo has. Oh, actually, Beardo can't get there either. Okay. That is something to consider. I don't know. Actually, let's check. Let's check something. So his movement, if we go to his second move... He's capable of hitting pretty much anyone. He can hit here, he can hit here, he can hit any of these guys. <laughs> Which is pretty intense. These guys are out of vision though. So I would say if he's going to run through, he probably runs through here. Uh, Iggy can go to this full cover. To that position. Which I don't mind. I think I want to save that shotgun. We have to be mindful of this other group now, so bringing these guys in, I think, will be helpful. Beardo, I'm going to bring here. And Pool Mother. There's no full cover back here, but it is far. Let's just do this for now. I feel like we're at least kind of safe. I think something like this can work for me. I'm looking to try and, yeah, I think maybe that. Ugh, come on. I'm looking to see if I can break that guy's cover in the back there. I think this will do. Catch. Okay, we didn't get this one, unfortunately. That, I thought that cover was going to break there. You know, if we put down the flames, too, this could work for me. Fire. I got flames. I got to use them. Would have been nice to get the burn there. Would have been nice. And also, the Chosen didn't spawn. But actually, this is just their reaction, isn't it? Just realized. Hmm. I think if we kill the Sectoid, there's a chance this guy runs as well. My options for killing him now are much lower. I could come in right in there, but then I'm I'm sitting there against that stun lancer, which obviously is not great. My frag grenade holds a lot of value against the chosen. But yeah, they've got us in a pretty decent position. 
And my regular grenade holds a lot of value against those groups. So I think what I'm going to... I think I'm going to do this. I got to kill the sectoid. Because those other groups are going to come running in here. Like, there's no question. I'll take this one damage on the stun lancer. He's coming in. And he's burning. And he failed. But he did... He did skip our... Uh, he did skip our explosive, fortunately. Okay, armored trooper over here. This is a really cool looking unit. Dead puts reskin this to have this shiny outside representing the armor. Scion, here they come, baby. Here they come. Okay, that's a good. This is a good grenade target here. And no chosen. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's let's get excited. This is this is exciting. This is exciting. Is everyone excited? Okay. Uh, Stun Lancer, I could probably drop this mine on. There are some Overwatches here. We got to be concerned about. Uh, Red Dawn rocket here could could be beautiful or it could totally whiff who knows that's the problem with rockets that is the problem with rockets i think this is probably more reliable to incorporate the scatter bring in the pain come on hey i'll take that I think the Scion got hit there, but we can't see it. Which is also not super duper. <laughs> it's not super duper, to put it lightly. I need to, I need to, I need to move up a little bit here. Uh, I just don't have great spots to move up to. If I bring Bow over, we break this Overwatch, and I can potentially flame this group, but then I've got a Stun Lancer and an Armored Trooper on Bow, which could be pretty devastating, honestly. However, I could bring up a Smoke Grenade if I push forward with our whole group here. And I've got a Frost Bomb. But I, again, don't have a great position to utilize it from. Maybe I bring Beardo to this spot. Or Beardo can maybe take Takeout's spot. Yeah. I think I'm going to drop this here. On this stunny. We're going to break the Overwatch. Come on, baby. Miss. Oh, that did not miss. Okay. 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 You still got armor. Now, this armored trooper over here. If we take a look. Uh, same weapon, but obviously he has the armor, and he's got that really cool design to separate him from the, the regular troopers. Which I think is pretty neat. So, two options here. We break this. Stun Lancer falls, or we flame this. This actually hits both. Um, there's still that Scion back there, but setting those two on fire is pretty good. Or we do something like this. I'm pretty sure that Scion's like right there. Do we see that anywhere? Okay. Stun Lancer, I presume, is dead from fire and from this thing blowing up. Uh, 
I could move Schmidt in here. The problem is this box probably explodes soon. But then I've got a, a mag grenade that hits this big group here. You know what? I feel like I feel like I can go for that. I feel like, yeah, this is our play. Mind you, hold on a second. <laughs> Do I want to throw down another defense of mine? Potentially, for that stun lancer, but... I don't think I've ever used this many defensive mines in a mission, ever. Let's see how this new grenade works. It did the knockback, so that's cool. Okay, so it pushes out from the center, and then we've got this new, this risen scion. He's pretty far back, um, but he is capable of... Insanity and Soul Fire, so guaranteed damage. Three to four damage, but that could absolutely terrorize Takeout here. It could, if I don't find a way to kill him. Or to kill it. Uh, I have to watch for all of these now as well. Who else do I have? I've got Takeout, Pool Mother. I still have Iggy. You know, do I have a way up here? Not exactly. I would have potentially two shots here. It's 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 Takeout that I'm a bit concerned about at the moment. So this area was safe from the explosion, but I'd be giving up two shots. Uh, the sectoid, not on fire also, so still a problem. Risen Scion, not on fire, still a problem. Maybe what I do is move, um, move Beardo into like this location and maybe freeze uh, the Scion, if we can reach it. Freeze the Stun Lancer, if we can reach that. Light the Stun Lancer on fire, potentially. That 60% chance... My argument is kind of like, well, they should be guaranteed on fire, but I guess that's probably... I would probably make them just a wee bit stronger than they should be. I think this cover gets blown if I take this position. That's the that's the issue there. God, there's a lot to compute. And plus this group on this side is is freaking me out for sure. So that's why I'm hesitant to go there. And that scion dealing guaranteed damage freaks me out too. I don't know how much it is. I can't imagine it's an early game unit, so he's probably dealing like two. Right? Probably. <laughs> These shots are actually not bad either. I could do something like... I could do something like this. So we have shots on the trooper and the scion back there. This shot drops the stun lancer. Doesn't kill him. Not at eight. I'm also considering like, okay, I could bring, I could bring Iggy here and then jump up to here and then swipe at this stun lancer. But then if I miss that, you know, How far can that Scion get? They can't reach us. If I'm gonna freeze something, I think that Stun Lancer's what I'm freezing, right? I 
It's a bit of a risk. I also don't know if I can reach it from here. Maybe? But again, that does leave me open to the flank. And I also don't know if I can reach it from here. Because there's kind of a, a corner to consider there. You know? I don't know if the physics will allow it. Alright, we gotta make a call. We've gotta make a call. So top priority is what? Sectoid dying, Scion dying, Stun Lancer maybe freezing. Actually, if the Sectoid wants to mind control, that actually might even just buy us a, a turn because we can pretty easily kill him next time. Hmm. Even if I land this, then what? But where else am I going to move, right? I think I'm probably moving Beardo here. But again, even if these guys come down here, I'm, I'm still flanked. And if I go here, then I'm in the explosive radius of the deal. This one, I hope, just doesn't trigger. I hope nobody does something dumb and runs onto that. These guys both have six health with one armor. All right, let's do this. I want to see what our frost potential is. Cool, I can reach the Scion. Oh, look at this. Hold on. There was a... Oh, oh. I, th I don't think we can get actually where the Lancer is, though. Oh, it's so close. Yeah, so that Lancer doesn't reach. However, if we do knock the Lancer down... Get ready for a surprise! Let's do it. So he could be frozen there. Cool mother, we're gonna move up. And again, um, I think we'll probably end up smoking. Stunlancer dies. Iggy, we'd have two 50s there. And then Beardo. This would definitely freeze him. That would definitely work. Okay. I think we have our plan. Now we just need to hope that it... That it works. Okay, that's one. Nice. Oh, okay. okay. Again, not a huge priority there. We're throwing an invisible behind the wall frost bomb. Got him. We have that group over here. I'm sure they're running at us. I'm sure that they are. Can I hit these two? Nope. I can hit. I can hit takeout. And that's really what we need. Can I hit these two? Nope. I've got my guys spread out just enough. Okay, he is flanked. Oh, he's actually going for Musin. Oh my god. The armor. Oh no. Oh god. That was unexpected, to say the least. Wow. We did talk about that potentially blowing up. Oh, he's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. Is he bleeding out? He's bleeding out. Oh, he's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. There's hope. There is hope. 
Okay, so, uh, here's the thing. When we take this shot straight ahead, it doesn't hit the immediate tile right in front of us or right next to us unless we do, like, a weird angle like that. You see what I'm saying? He's bleeding out. He can be saved. He can be saved. I'm not, I'm not going to panic. One thing I could do is, um, if I come right here, stay in the open, I just blast it through here. I'm actually okay with taking that risk. If you say so. Time to burn. Oh, it did hit him too. Lancer's down. These guys were both burning. Yeah, it's it's go time now. Now this guy just right raising raising uh random things as we go. I don't love it. We've got three turns essentially. Three turns. Because I don't have a med kit, so I can't stabilize him. I could evac him with somebody. Where's his location? Right there. So, I will call this. Requesting immediate evac. That's tempting. What else do I have? I have grenades, and I have more fire. More fire, more good. I'm going. God, that that risen is just—they're doing an excellent job of just staying out of view. Even my grenade is short there. Come in here, but again, I gotta watch for that group that is no doubt coming from that side, like for sure. Um, this leaves okay. So if if I do if I do this, in theory, it's gonna kill that trooper and the scion. We still have the armored trooper, which I might be able to kill. Killing it with fire. They have been destroyed. Okay. Uh, Beardo, I have a plan. This trooper, if he moves, he's toast. I'll still take this shot. Alright. Alright, that's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Now, do I just go for it? How much damage does this gun do? Not a lot. Three to four, of course. Ripjack four to five, though. But if that group is there, man, then I'm super dangling. I'm going. We deny our creators. Okay, I like that. Understood. 
I'm gonna hunker down. Oh, right on cue. They're here. It is two of them. So that's not too bad. Okay. What's left? Do I have any explosives? Of course I do. <laughs> I came packing heat. <laughs> Thank God, too. our last one. Okay, now, yes, this could kill him. But we have that trooper in the back. We have to contend with. And I wouldn't mind using this opportunity to, to get Musin out of here. I'm actually one tile short of doing it with uh, Pool Mother. Beardo potentially could do it, I guess. Musin is still there for a turn. I maybe don't need to panic just yet. This is a pretty good shot. Uh, I don't have a flank potential from this trooper, and I'm in full. But it's kind of unnecessary because we can likely get this kill with Iggy. And you know what? Even if we... Even if he's... Uh, he's got a tank a shot there, I think I'm fine with it. Go, Iggy, go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, and then uh, we still have to destroy the device, of course. Um, takeout is currently flanked, yeah. We could suppress him. I'm gonna get away from these flames. I'm gonna do something like this, so... Beardo. I should be out there. You dance in here. And we'll start having you attack the device Objective next decided. turn. We can get Musin out on the following turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, this could land, and I'm in full cover. So... Yeah, well, let's see. <laughs> I know that. I know that pain. I guess that'll be okay. Things. We got you, buddy. Heading home. Nice. One down, thousand to go. Okay, that was pretty scary. I have it. A uh, couple things that, if they had went differently uh specifically that rocket that would have been uh very helpful i wonder well with that bleed out i don't think bandage throw was an option also don't know if i could have uh done anything there it stops bleed effects but not bleed out Ooh, 
okay. Okay. Had to take some risks there, but we got it done. Man, I feel like everything is just, it's just so hard right now. <laughs> Everything's just hard. Iggy, 21 damage, 4 kills. Beardo, 6 damage, 3 for 3 on the shots. I, that's probably <laughs> two of them on that, on the objective. Wi-Fi destruction from Musion. That could have been, he could have been dead. But thank God we got a bleed out for once. Takeout, 22 damage, 2 kills, most exposed. Pool Mother, 0 for 1, sneakiest. Yeah, didn't get a lot done with you there, but that's fine. MVP on Red Dawn, our newest combat engineer. 1 for 1, 32 damage. Yep, and everyone's alive. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It doesn't, even, doesn't have to be pretty. It just matters that they come home. Is that our first time we've gone, like, two missions in a row without someone dying? Feels like it. <laughs> I think it is. Alright. Uh, I do try to let this screen show because it's nice to see, but sometimes I skip it a little fast. These wound times, man. Oh my god. Alright. So, what do we want to do on our sappers here? Demolition's nice. Return fire. Yeah, I mean... Could be interesting. I suppose. We did build them up with tankiness. Fire support could be all right. Bonus 10 aim on the reaction shot. I don't know. I actually think we take uh, demolition. We passed it up on the combat engineer promotion. All right, now, now we're talking. So, uh, remove shared cooldown on grapple and pull abilities. The individual cooldowns on grapple and pull abilities are reduced by one. So, at this level, gain integrated grapple. We can use the grappling hook integrating their armor to reverse... Oh, sorry, here. Justice. Grapple ability allows the skirmisher to pull an enemy to them, which is huge. And this is usually pretty decent. Oh, this is nice, too. Total combat I really like. Um, but we're not going to get it just yet. Although, with these hero factions, we can always spend their AP before the training center is up. So, that eh, might be okay. Might be okay. Gain one mobility for every three levels of heat. Yeah, I'm going to definitely take the reinforced cabling here. Reducing the cooldowns. Yeah, yep, yep. Musion, uh, way to hang in there, buddy. Appreciate that. Take demolition there, too. Uh, combat engineer. I think we're going to stick to the burnout option. Giving that little cover bonus. See, that's in a situation... You know how we repositioned at the end there, standing in the open? Um, obviously, we knew we could we could tank the shots that were possibly coming in. But having that little defensive smoke makes that riskier play slightly less risky. Scope, core, I'll take that. Decent corpses, I'll take those. Countered vigilance. Uh, what is vigilance? Is that... Um, is that like increased detection or something like that? Or is that, it might even be more enemies. I'm not sure. Schmidt got cautious. Uh, chance to hunker down in a defensive posture after their first action. Ah, that's, that's really, that is not cool. That is not cool. So, uh, obsessive reloader, that's right. Where are we at? So infirmary is up. We don't have an engineer in the infirmary. However, uh, we are scanning for one. We have a potential infiltration coming up. We need people to uh, come back from being tired. That's actually the biggest issue right now. Avenger plotting new course. Let's go back here. Can hopefully fill our crew with the engineers in the next couple of missions. Okay, Wong is back. 18 AP. 
Bobo got wounded. Let's find out what Bobo's going to be. If I had to guess, Bobo is probably going to be... Bobo is probably going to be a tech specialist. <laughs> that would be my guess. Let's find out. Oh, assault infantry. That was going to be what I what I picked originally, but uh, we're low on tech specialists, so we already have three marines. Um, what's his aim? Sixty five. Mobility is twelve. It's not bad. So maybe, maybe we take him down that Assault Infantry tree. Just because his aim's a little bit lower. Let's do that. 68 aim now, after the promotion. And Psychedelic, Marksman or Field Medic. Okay. Okay, his aim is 70. Now that's intriguing. I think we take a marksman for that. And that'll even further boost your aim up to 80. Damn. Our marksman. This is pretty impressive. Squatty marksman's at 80, sergeant at 84. These guys being marksmen will naturally gain uh, more aim as they level than other classes. Okay, we got, we got a lot of people tired here, man. Okay, I can't I can't do anything right now. I can't commit my soldiers. I gotta just wait and see what happens. Powell is back. Trell is back. You had to expect I'd come for your friends eventually, Commander. So we I don't currently have the card in play for him. To reduce the knowledge. Are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Even if that means there it is. Damn it. Camps of resistance supporters. I mean, I have We're to go for this. Only line of defense. Did your friends I do have ten people ready. But that's okay. That's okay. We have, uh, after this, we have an infiltration that should pop. Uh, I think all of these guys do have to join us. Uh, combat engineer here. We're taking the best of the best. This is a, a crucial mission. Now, does the chosen... Hold on. Immune to melee. Okay. Yeah, so... Oh, I, I kept saying brittle. Brittle is close-ranged attacks. Bewildered is what he has. So, immune to melee damage means... Probably... Not the best call to bring a Templar. But the Templar can help us get to the Chosen. Um, so I kind of feel like that's all right. Maybe. Skirmisher, very happy that he didn't lose a lot of will on that mission. So we have a Skirmisher, a Sapper with Frost. Combat Engineer, Templar, Marksman. I'll actually replace this with the Mag Grenade. Um, we could keep the Hollow Targeting, I suppose. Uh, have our Marksman set up for the more reliable shots. Double combat engineer. How many combat engineers do we have? Four? No, three. Man, it just feels like we have a billion of them. But I guess it's because when we combine them with sappers, it's just explosions everywhere. Um, and that will help us early. That will taper off later. I am thinking of bringing our field medic. For the obvious reasons that... We could benefit from leveling them and healing people. I just I just think that the Templar I think the Templar could help in every scenario except for against the chosen. But I could even 
You know what? I actually don't know. Wait, why can I not equip a scope here? That's weird, isn't it? Gain plus five aim, direct shots, and increased long range accuracy. I guess maybe sniper rifles, because they have like a quote unquote built in scope. Maybe they just can't equip that. I never noticed that before. Skirmisher, sapper, marksman, combat engineer, explosions, boom booms, the vortex grenade to push people out of cover. That could be great against the Chosen, actually. This could be cool, too, against the Chosen. He's always going to be hunting for cover. We could try pulling him out of cover. It's kind of neat. Um, I don't know if our Templars can parry the Hunter's attack. I want to say it might be unparryable. It might be unparryable. <laughs> uh, but this could be... Oh, here. Hunter's tracking shot. Okay. Tracking shot cannot be parried. That's his... That's the thing that he lines up against us, right? I don't think that's like his regular attack. Because we, we could actually... We could actually benefit from that. I wonder if it's worth spending some of this AP here too on these guys. Fifteen. You know what? He's got ten on his own. I'm gonna take this total combat. So he can grenade first and then follow up with a shot uh, into uh, somebody who will not have cover. I may also want to take Intimidate. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. They suffer the stat penalties in 8 tiles. That's not bad. The panic chance with the Ripjack is pretty specific. You gotta build up all that heat. I think I might just leave it at that for now. Um... Let's see. Make upgrades available here. Reaction, nearby accuracy. Yeah, see, I can't put any of these things on top. Close range crit wouldn't matter anyway, but. I think I will build you with the shotgun. And we'll give you the close range crit. Do we need to have two cannons? Probably not. You have better aim. Oh, you can't carry the carbine. Well, in that case, I think we'll keep it then. Do I still have a scope I can equip? We can just pimp out his gun. I think that's all right. We still have some covert ops that um, we might have ambushes on and stuff too. I like carrying the frag, or sorry, the smoke here. I think I'll keep the hollow targeter. And I'm undecided on the Templar. I think for now this is good. I might change this to the uh, field medic. This marine I'm gonna struggle with, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try. We're gonna have to get her going at some point. We also have this marksman, but I think we take the best of the best right now. So, anyways, that's where I'm at. I might change this to the field medic. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna make a game time decision there, but we'll see you guys soon. Wish me luck. Necromancer raging. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. See you soon.